Hello and welcome! In today's episode, I am going to teach you how to build one of my shelves that are back there. It's really easy, it's not complicated, and uh, here we go! Now that you have your pieces ready, now it's time to assemble. I'm probably going to do a lot of um, fast connecting with the GoPro, so that way, you know, there's so many kids outside right now. When you live in an apartment complex, it kind of sucks. All right, so there are different ways to do this. There's different styles, but this is an easier way. So we're just going to start constructing it. You take your your white connector piece and you put like a star. Boom. Let's see. Where's my focus? My focus is way over here. Okay. Anyway, little star. And then you take your yellow pieces and you put them in between that. These are going to be your base. And. One of your blue purple pieces are going to go on the inside. It's going to be downward because it's going to actually hold your the legs. Um, whatever they're called, I'll put it down there. You know, hold your legs, your beams, your sport pieces. I don't know. Anyway, so you're going to get that. What do I need next? Oh yeah. And then you're going to put blue ones, and you're going to continue this. For every other one, it's going to be a blue purple like this because this is your middle part and these ones are going to connect those and you don't want to have like two two whites and then one of these because then you're going to have too much weight in the middle and it's just going to snap it you want all that support you can give by giving it a little more but giving it more pieces to be able to hold it up all right so on your back side since this is upside down, anytime you have one of your legs, I'm just gonna call them legs, or uh, support beams, you need one of these pieces and they have to go a certain way. So, depending on your design, if you want these top pieces to be able to connect to something, they're not gonna be able to connect to this one because you have to put this one long ways and it won't have anything to connect to. So you have two different options you could do. Change your design slightly to where all your yellow pieces are more this way, like this, instead of in the middle. It's not a bad thing, you know, just change it. It might be different when you're done with the design, but as long as you have the same idea of how they're going in, it'll still be coherent. I believe, I wanna say a purple goes. No, 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 okay. So I put one of these ones on the inside like this, so that way I can put a tack on it. You'll see when I put them up. I'll show you how I put them on the wall with tacks. All right, fast forward from here, cause this is what you got so far. Boom, boom, let's fast forward. That is how you make a shelf out of connects with extra pieces, I guess. But this is what it looks like when you're actually all done with it. And I don't know how much it actually holds, but 
as you see on my wall back here. That's all connects. And it holds a pretty good amount of weight as long as you don't just like shove, shove on there. Like uh, that corner piece also is different design than this, but the corner piece, when I lived at my old place, my cat jumped up and tore it down. So it does, you know, fall if you have a cat. This is our completed product and we are gonna put it up on the wall. Okay, so this is the spot we're gonna put, like my little shadow here. We're gonna use my shadow as the uh, me cause I can't really get in here with this angle. I'm gonna take down this little guy cause he is in my way. I'll put him up somewhere else for now. But I like to use tacks, these little, uh, uh, clear tacks that have like little button look to them. I use about four of them. If you have a leveler, by all means, use it. I do not because whatever. I'm gonna put it about here. And with the tacks, I like to put one on this side, one on this side, one in the bottom here, and one on the bottom here. Occasionally I'll put another fifth one in the middle. Let's put the bottom one in first. Sometimes if you get a stud, it's a little harder to push in, obviously. Uh, I have no clue if this is straight. My eyes are a little off since I'm blind in one, but we're just gonna put it about here. I'm gonna step back and look at it and see if it actually is straight. It is not, by the way. So I'm gonna go down just a little on this side. The good thing about tacks and walls is you can just put toothpaste in the hole and it'll make it look like it never happened. It's a little trick from me to you. All right, so those tacks are in. It's a little harder to get these ones in. So you just kind of have to pry it in there. It doesn't have to be exact. As long as it's in the wall, you're fine. There you go. And like I said, I do get a fifth one to put in the middle here, which I just pulled that one bottom tack out. Since this is a longer one, I wanna get more support, but that's also what these bars are for. So that way, when your tacks are in here, you could put the weight and it'll pull it down and it'll hit here instead of just falling. And there you go. There's your shelf. It looks nice and uh, pretty, just sitting up there. I was not recording the whole time. Uh.